Hey guys, it's Samantha and welcome to our My Tan Feet channel. We are going to do a driving around San Jose video today. We are going to drive all the way through downtown San Jose so you can see what the capital city of Costa Rica is like. Let's go. We started our drive at La Sabana, which is the main park of San Jose. We started from the north side of the park, going all the way around to the south side, then turning onto Paseo Colon and driving through 2nd Avenue, taking us right through downtown San Jose. I'll be pointing out important buildings and cultural sites in the video so you guys can learn a little bit more history about the city. On our left hand side is Parque La Sabana, which is Costa Rica's largest and most well-known urban park. It has a pond, gardens, and trails, making it a favorite for city Costa Ricans to enjoy nicely maintained green spaces. It is also home to the National Stadium, which was the very first modern sport arena built in Central America. The National Stadium was completely funded by the Chinese government, and since its completion in 2011, it has been the home stadium of the National Costa Rican football team. San Jose is the capital city of Costa Rica and is also the capital city of the province with the same name. It is in the Central Valley, which is made up of the Alajuela, San Jose, Heredia, and Cartago provinces. And together with these other cantons, they form Costa Rica's greater metropolitan area. The city of San Jose has a population of around 342,000 people. The entire greater metropolitan area has a population of around 2 million, and Costa Rica has a population of around 5 million people. The La Sabana Park is 0.72 square kilometers, or 0.28 square miles, and it is a large park. It also has a lake, other football fields, basketball courts, and lots of green spaces. And since it's adjacent to many office buildings and institutions, it's a very important park for the residents and workers of San Jose. Locals normally use the term Sabana Sur and Sabana Norte, which means Sabana South and Sabana North, to specify which part of the park they're referring to. If you're looking for a place to stay in San Jose, there are some very nice hotels around La Sabana, such as the Hilton Garden Inn and Hotel Palma Real. La Sabana is an excellent location for San Jose, since you're close to downtown but not right in the center, and there are lots of convenience stores, supermarkets, restaurants, and all the services around. The National Gymnasium is an interesting building in the city, opening in 1960. 
It was used for many decades for sporting events and even concerts. Costa Rica's very first rock concert was held in this gym back in 1973 with Santana as the headliner. Nowadays, though, it is used mostly for basketball games and gymnastics competitions. The La Sabana Park is also home to another very important building, the Museum of Costa Rican Art. Although currently this building is a museum displaying the fantastic works of Latin American artists, this used to be the old international airport of Costa Rica. The La Sabana International Airport opened its doors on April 7, 1940, and was in operation for only 15 years before closing its doors to make way for the main international airport in the country right now, the Juan Santa Maria International Airport. The La Sabana Airport reopened in 1977 as the Museum of Costa Rican Art. Now we are turning onto the road known as Paseo Colón, which is part of Avenida Central or the Central Avenue. Something interesting about Paseo Colón is that it is one of the widest roads in San Jose and home to many office buildings, restaurants, shops, and other businesses. Additionally, condo towers have become very popular in this area as many people are moving back to downtown to live, so this road is one of the busiest and most congested roads in Costa Rica. We took this video in the early morning on a Saturday, so there weren't many cars, but on a normal day during rush hour, this road is completely full. One of the most important buildings on Paseo Cologne is the National Children's Hospital. And right next to the National Children's Hospital is San Juan de Dios Hospital, which is the oldest hospital in Costa Rica. Costa Rica uses a universal healthcare system and has one of the top healthcare systems in Latin America. Public and private services are available with the Caja Costarricenses de Seguro Social or the Costa Rican Social Security Fund in charge of the public health sector. Medical and dental tourism is growing quite a bit in Costa Rica as services are cheaper than other countries such as the United States but with top quality. Now the Paseo Cologne ends and becomes foot access only. So as we follow this road, it turns into Avenida Segunda or Second Avenue. And the first place you'll see is the Braulio Carrillo Park, locally known as the Parque de la Merced. And it is right next to a main church called Iglesia Nuestra Señora de la Merced. Avenida Segunda, or 2nd Avenue, is what they call the Artery of San Jose. It runs straight through downtown and is home to many cultural sites and attractions, including the Central Market, several museums, important government buildings, the post office, stores, and other places of interest. During rush hour, this road is incredibly congested with people walking everywhere and buses and taxis and cars all trying to get through. Now we are passing by the San Jose Central Park or the Parque Central de San Jose, which is on our right, 
and the Metropolitan Cathedral of San Jose right next to it. That morning, we drove by as the church bells went off, signifying that Mass was starting very soon. Catholicism is the state religion of Costa Rica, with about 76% of Costa Ricans identifying as Catholic. The next point of interest is the National Theater. The National Theater is Costa Rica's architectural and cultural gem, built in 1897, and something interesting about it was that it was fully funded by a coffee tax placed by one of the presidents back in the 1890s. We highly recommend to take a guided walk through the National Theater so you can see all the paintings and intricate artwork up close. On your left, that yellow building is one of the most important buildings in Costa Rican history, the National Museum of Costa Rica. But it was not always a museum. That building used to be the main barracks of the country, and to this day, still bears the bullet marks from the last civil war back in the 1940s. But now, it is a symbol of peace and hope, as this is the site where President Jose Figueres Ferrer abolished the Costa Rican military on December 1st, 1948. Now, as a museum, visitors can learn about the history of Costa Rica with its various exhibits and libraries. As we head east of San Jose, we enter Barrio La California. This neighborhood is popular for its nightclubs and bars, so if you're looking for a good nightlife, definitely check this neighborhood out. The next point of interest on this drive is the Fuente de la Espanidad. An interesting fact about this location is that this is where the locals go to celebrate big sports wins. And the last point of interest in this video is the Mall San Pedro, which was the very first big shopping center in Costa Rica. So that was our video driving around San Jose. I hope you guys learned a little bit about the history and about the capital city of Costa Rica here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one.